How much time do you spend drawing? How long did that drawing take you? How much drawing do I need to do to improve? These are a few questions that I get asked often and so today I thought I'd make a video addressing the whole subject around time and how much time you should be drawing and how long a drawing takes. There isn't really one answer but I thought we could just discuss this. I've got some spare footage from a drawing that I finished the other day so I'll throw that on screen and we can get right into this. So let's talk about time and give some kind of an answer to those questions even though they don't really need answering. There isn't a specific amount of time required to get better at drawing because it varies between individuals. Maybe you are one of those quick learners and can pick things up easier or maybe you have to study for hours on end to make sure whatever you are learning stays with you. They say that you have to put in 10,000 hours to become a master at something but I think that's questionable because it's all about what you are doing in those hours. You could be learning the wrong things or going off in a direction that won't benefit you as much. It's not really something that I think we should get hung up on. Obviously you need to make sure you are learning the right stuff and making some progress but I wouldn't worry too much about how much time you should draw and when you should draw or how long a drawing takes to finish. Instead you should try and pay more attention to what it is you are doing in the time that you have to draw. A lot of people, and especially artists, work a job and most likely create art on the side and so they have to work through the day and then they draw when they finish work. Or maybe you're older and you have more responsibilities and you need to take care of those things first, leaving you with even less time to work on your drawing. If that is your situation then you need to try and create some method of working more efficiently in the limited amount of time that you have available, creating a schedule and planning what you are doing in advance in terms of what drawing you need to do or what you want to work on can be helpful. For instance I'm currently going to university and so a lot of my time throughout the day is spent going there or studying for that but I always try and fit some time in to do some drawing and make these videos which is like a job in itself. It takes a lot of time and normally I have to get up quite early and do some drawing in the morning and then do some at night but uh, it's the same as working a job in a way except I, I do have more flexibility because I'm able to organise my own time. Whereas when you go to a job, you have to be there at a certain time, you can only finish at a certain time, and you probably are in this routine where it's the same uh, sort of situation every day, which can work both ways because then you can sort of create a schedule that applies to most of your days where you can say, this is the time that I finish work and this is the time that I get home and then I have to do, I don't know, whatever you need to do before you can actually free up some time to do some drawing. But you can sort of do that consistently because you're pretty much doing the same thing every day and so you can sort of plan in advance because you have some idea of what it is you are going to be doing throughout the week. I always try and plan in advance as well what I'm going to be doing each day. Um, sometimes I, it doesn't really go to plan. Something comes up and I have to sort of do something else and reschedule something in at another time. But trying to get into a routine is really important and valuable because you'll find that you are more organised and can get a lot more done. But going back to what I said earlier about the amount of time that it takes to get better at drawing, I really think it comes down to a person's situation and their approach. The more you do something, the better you will be. And I think that goes for most things but for a lot of people it isn't practical to sit and draw every day 24 7 and get like a, a huge amount of practice in over a short period of time so what that leaves us with is a, a different approach and it's about being consistent over time for example, if you have three hours of free time each day more or less, it doesn't really matter but just try and work out the amount of time you are able to get free each day and then use that time for drawing. Try and stay committed and get yourself in the habit of practicing each day in that time that you have. A lot of people watch TV or play games and relax in their free time which is fine but you have to ask yourself how much do you want to do something because the more you put in the more you are going to get out and uh, it's good to try and find a balance between everything like try and stay disciplined and say like you are going to draw for two hours and then have an hour to do everything else that you want to do. I don't know, it really depends on what it is that you want to do. But uh, anyways, like I was saying, start using the time that you have free to practice drawing. Even if it's just two hours or one hour or anything, just do that every day. Now, over time, let's say a few months down the line, you'll have racked up a lot of hours of practice and would have made some good progress. Because these hours of practice that you have been putting in each day, even if it isn't a lot, has accumulated and paid off. And so it's about consistency. And that's what I think is important to focus on for those who have a lot of other responsibilities which take up their time. 
Try and take advantage of every bit of free time that you get, even if you think it's pointless to draw for something like 15 minutes, but if you do that every day, eventually it builds up. Any amount of practice is better than no practice. Now whilst I'm on the subject of time, I want to talk about the question that I get asked a lot, which is how long does it take to do a drawing like this? And uh, I've always found this quite hard to answer because each drawing takes a different amount of time as a result of a few things like how detailed it is or how good you are at drawing or what it is you are drawing. The amount of time it takes to finish a drawing depends on the subject and the drawing itself along with the artist's ability. If I was to create a drawing of something that I wasn't familiar with, at first it would probably take quite a while because I'd have to study the subject and learn the techniques to draw certain things. Then after that, if I was to draw it again, I'd probably be able to do it quicker and then over time if I was continuously drawing the same thing, I'd be more confident and probably get quicker with each attempt because I'd be more familiar with it and I would have developed a way of creating the drawing. A lot of people would ask that question when I would do a lot of realistic drawing because I think they assume that it must take a lot of time to get those realistic details and textures as accurate as possible. And at first it does take a lot of time but eventually I was able to create a realistic drawing in a fraction of the time that it used to take because eventually I became so familiar with the techniques and the methods which were involved in the process of creating those kinds of drawings. I was able to draw and make decisions faster. Now when it comes to the more imaginative stuff that I create, it takes a lot longer. I find myself slowing down when I'm drawing and trying to figure out what I want to draw next or I'm trying to work out where it's going. There's a lot more decision making involved and that takes up a lot of time in itself and then there's the actual process of drawing it. So again, there is so many variables to consider. And I feel like if a professional said to a beginner it took them two hours to do a drawing, the beginner would probably get frustrated and assume they are doing something wrong when it takes them longer to do a drawing like that, but it really does come down to how much practice and experience you've had. It's kind of like driving a car, like at first there's so much to learn and think about, but eventually you are driving in pilot mode wondering how you got from A to B. And yeah, another thing is you should never be in a rush to finish some work, unless you have a deadline or something then there's only so much you can do and you might have to cut some corners or speed up the process in some way, but if you are drawing for yourself then just focus on the drawing. Don't be thinking about when you'll have it finished or how long it will take, just enjoy drawing it and work on it over time. I normally work on a drawing over a few days, maybe one day I'll work on it for an hour and then the next day I'll spend the whole afternoon working on it. It doesn't really matter when I do it or how long it takes, as long as it's done right and you can say that you've taken your time and put in as much effort as you can. Learning how to draw can seem like an impossible task and really overwhelming and I've made some videos in the past talking about the fundamentals and some different approaches but I still think the best way to learn is to do the drawing and that might sound really strange but I see a lot of people just watching tutorials all of the time without getting some paper and pencils and drawing themselves. You learn from doing and so overall it's good to focus on consistent and frequent practice. If you are looking to really improve on your weaknesses then you need to recognise what they are first and so this sometimes means being honest with yourself and analysing your own work, being critical of it and working out what it is that you could have done better. Now don't be too critical, even though most artists look at their own work and are often dissatisfied, uh, instead just try and make use of it and start putting in some practice to get better at the things that you need to. Maybe use an hour at the start of the time that you have to draw to go over and practice some certain aspects, create a list for yourself with all of the stuff that you want to work on, or when you are drawing something, try and challenge yourself and involve something in the drawing that you know you need to practice learning. For instance, it might be a different perspective, or you might want to draw some kind of pose for a figure, and uh, yeah, try and involve stuff whilst you are drawing and having fun creating all of these uh, different images, but some people continue continuously work on the fundamentals and so every drawing they do is like some kind of study and so they are always improving in different areas which will then pay off when it comes to creating a final piece but make sure you are enjoying the time you are spending drawing because I think that's the most important thing is to enjoy doing it and to even enjoy learning all of these new things. I've kind of gone off on a tangent with what it was I was talking about here but I think the vague answer if I had to give an overall answer to the question how much time should you spend drawing I'd probably say as much as you can. I know that's a bit of a shitty answer but I hope I've covered some stuff in this video which can be of use. Just make as much time as you can to draw and practice because it all pays off eventually.
so there we go everyone that wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed it and can take something away from it if you did then please give it a like because it helps me out subscribe with the notifications on to stay up to date with the content that i'll be uploading in the future also if you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to discuss in these videos then just leave a comment down below i'll read them and then maybe i can do a video on that subject but that's pretty much everything from me today so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one